If your smartphone or tablet has Android 6.0 Marshmallow or even Android 7.0 Nougat, then you'll have likely come across an issue when you connect your phone to the computer that it will default to the charging mode. So just to give you an example of this, when I connect my OnePlus 3 to the PC with USB, it's defaulting to USB charging mode. This might be what you want to do by default, but a lot of people connect their phones to their PCs to transfer files to it. So whenever you do this, you'll have to bring down the notification panel, you'll have to tap on the USB for charging option, and then you have to tap on file transfers to change it over to MTP. Now if you connect your phone to your PC a lot, this can be quite a hassle as it's just another step between getting your files off of your device and onto your computer. Now Google has not included a way to default to MTP, but if you have root access, then there is a way to always select MTP whenever you connect a USB cable to it from your computer. So this is an application called MTP Enabler and I'll have a link to this in the description below this video in the full tutorial for this guide. Now as I mentioned this application does require root access so after you install it, once you launch it, you will get a super SU prompt asking if you want to grant this application root access. And we have a lot of options here to choose from. We can set it to lock MTP enabler with a password, with a lock pattern. We can always ask me for an action or act also when locked and we can deactivate MTP and PTP when the screen is locked. So you can still charge your device and have it set to defaultly charge whenever the screen is locked. So there's a lot of options here for you to go through, but this second section is where you can choose your default USB option. So normally it's set to charging but you can change this to MTP, you can change it to PTP for photo transfers, and you can also choose the block USB port option for ADB, MTP, and PTP while the MTP enabler is disabled. We got some widgets that can act like a shortcut. We can let it listen to the USB port. There is a, a status bar notification that is on by default, which you can choose to only disable the icon or disable the notification entirely. If you do disable the notification, there is a chance for Android to terminate this process. So be aware of that. We also have other notification options for sound and Android Wear. But again, the big thing right here is to choose your MTP as the default USB option. So now once you have that set up, all you have to do is plug the cable into your phone. And as you can see here, it will automatically set it to MTP so that you can go ahead and transfer your files from your phone.